Hello everyone. Welcome to African Northern Movies, latest Nigeria movies. Mom told me last night that it was time for me to know who my father is. Today we are on our way to go and meet him. I am filled with trepidation because Mom says he's a very important man in this society. And his name is Mr. Jason Ihodalo. That sure is a serious and smiling son if you ask me. Do you think he's going to like me? Do you think that I could fit in as an Ihodalo? <sighs> and I must keep all my apprehensions at bay. Because mom says I have to be at my best behavior. But why? To impress that, I suppose. I'm keeping my fingers crossed here. Wish me luck, dear diary. Yours truly apprehensive, Hila. Let's go. Remember, we must be punctual. Hillary! Come on, will you stop dragging your feet and get ready? What is wrong with you? I don't want to go again, Mom. I don't want to meet my dad. Why? Listen, Hillary, you mustn't be disagreeable. Okay? We talked about this, didn't we? I don't want to be late for this appointment with your dad. Don't worry, everything will be alright. I promise. Good morning. Sorry, my name is Susan. I'm here to see Mr. Jason. I have an appointment with him. Good morning, Mr. Jason. Yeah, good morning, Mrs. Jason. There's a lady here to see you, sir. She said her name is Miss Susan, and that she had an appointment with you. All right. Uh, it's okay. Tell her. Bring her to come see me right away. All right, sir. And one more thing. While you're at it, I need you to make me breakfast. I'll have my breakfast to you, so I can have quite a lot to Make it for you, just in case my guest decides to. We'll do that, sir. Thank you, Mr. Bessie.
That seems to be more narrow than I am. I wonder why I do that. Oh, well, I am. Um, I'm sorry. All right, I am really, really sorry. Especially for the reason behind that pain and bitterness that I that I hear in your voice. I am sorry. Pain. I have no pain today, sir. It's just that I felt I needed to let that out. Having said it. Let's get to the main reason why I came. All right. Um, why don't you sit? You sounded, um, should I say, apprehensive over the phone, demanding that um, that is quite urgent that we see today. So what is it? There's something I omitted to tell you 14 years ago. I feel it's time I did. I mean, it wouldn't be fair if I hide it any further. Something you didn't tell me 14 years ago. <sighs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but from the way this is coming, why do I have a feeling that, that I won't like it one bit? Jason. I don't give a damn about your likes or dislikes. It makes no difference to me. All right. Um, let's hear it. This thing that has um, brought you to the point where you have to um, break a silence of so many years. Let's hear it. What is the secret that you have been giving? You have a daughter, Jason. She's 14, and her name is Hilary. You're so clumsy. Please, mom. My mom is going to be so mad at me. But, but, but we could pay for it, ma'am. It's all right, child. It's all right. Come sit down there. Not to worry, okay? I'm sure nobody. You just have to see your hands here. You know, to. You miss Mr. Jason's wife. Mr. Jason has a wife. Oh, no, that's a disaster. Hi, my child. Mr. Jason had your wife. She said, Oh, that's a relief. I mean, that's so sad. It's very sad, my child. But as I was saying, this girl is belong to humans. And Mr. Jason insists that you leave them split here, just as she'd like to have them in her home. Well, that's very noble of Mr. Jason, isn't it? I would say, very noble. Yes. Oh, um, so, um, Mr. Jason and his late wife, did they have any children? Oh, unfortunately, no. 
and of all these questions. Okay? Um, why don't you follow me to the kitchen and and have some snacks and a drink? That way I can keep my eyes on you. I can't believe you, Susan. I don't believe you. I don't believe this. Because it beats me to think that you can keep the existence of my child for so many years without mentioning it to me. Not even for one day. Then how could you? How could you be so mean? Huh? You left me no choice, Jason. Like the proverbial mommy's boy. You, you abandoned me. You left me stranded. Susan, we talked about this. All right, we talked about it and I thought you understood. There was nothing for me to understand, Jason. You made your choice 14 years ago to abandon me and what we had. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just like you have also made the choice to abandon your daughter and run away with some spineless man. Because you want to get married. That is so unfair for you to say, Jason. You had no right. Because for 40 years of my life, I dedicated my everything to care and love Hillary. There's nothing wrong for me to decide right now to let her father try his hand at raising his own daughter. Oh, there is everything wrong with it, my dear. There is everything wrong with it, especially when you are the woman you have been coerced. Really, what kind of man have you been dealing with? Huh? The kind that will tell you to abandon your child as the only condition to marry. Is that it? Don't you dare insult me, Jason. Don't you dare! Because the character of my fiance is nothing for you to fear. Well, it's not. No, it's not. It is really biting. What is eating you up? Is it that you would rather Hillary Dean exist? Perhaps you are afraid of what you almighty oh, matriarch of a mother would do when she finds herself that she finally has a child with that low class got of trash. How big up? Or is it that what she gave to me? Stop it, silly. Right. You see, this is nothing whatsoever to do with her. This has everything to do with your mother. Why else are you refusing to accept your own child? What do you think I'm not here? Because I'm ready, right now, to carry out the paternity test to prove that Hillary is your child. Sorry, just stop it! Right, stop! Right, I'm not saying that she's not mine. I'm not saying that she's not my child. I'm not saying that you are mine. Right, I am just a man who is amazed at a level of cowardice. How wicked can you be? You have kept to yourself, just to yourself, the existence of my 14 year old daughter. One day, to tell me that I have a 14 year old. But henceforth, we live in. Why? Because you're jetting off to go get married to some spineless man. What kind of a human being are you? That is my husband. The kind that you told me. in this house. I mean, this plate and china are very expensive. And at the rate you guys are going, 
we might end up not having any more quality plates in this house. Ah, Miss Jonas, I'm sorry. But I did not hear of any crash. What did you hear? No, me neither. Well, if you didn't hear that, you must have some hearing difficulties. Okay, Miss Jonas. And you think the right thing for you to do is to stand there? Please go and investigate what's happening. I mean, you, you maids are so slow in this house. It's all right, Mona. Uh, I'll do that then. Oh, please run along already. Huh. And you? Who are you? And who asked you to speak when Vanessa is speaking? Oh, sorry, Miss Vanessa, but Mrs. Smith asked me at this time, so let me look at the answer. Really? And I suppose you are one of the maids' daughter of Mrs. Big's grandchild. I should think that Jason should tell his maids not to bring in your uncultured, dirty, and a cat children into my home, especially not into the kitchen, to avoid food contamination. You know, yeah? you into this house. Oh, um, sorry, Miss Vanessa, but I don't think that is ever going to be possible. You why? You are the shoes brat. What is the question, Miss Vanessa? I'm not a brat. My name is Hilary. Hilary Godaro. Mr. Jason's daughter. What? Did I 
to see her comedy. Is she telling the truth? Answer me this minute, Jesse, and talk to me. Is this brat your daughter, as in biological? Yes, Vanessa. I have a 14 year old daughter. Oh. And from where I stand, she looks nothing like a brat to me. Jesse, this is an outrage of all stupid things to do. This is the limit, Jason. I don't believe you, damn it! Jason, I think we will leave you and your bimbo. I think we will leave you two to sort things out. Since it's apparent that some adults do not know that some words are better than some Surely you can't mean that, sweetheart. Just take a look around. Your daddy's house is like a palace. And you're going to be the princess of this palace. Huh? The house is beautiful, I know, but it's full of mean people like like Miss Vanessa. I can't stay here, Mom. Please let me go with you. Surely you don't mean that, baby. Because you're going to stay. And I know you will like it. Just just relax. Okay? Come here. Come. Come, baby, come. Do you like it? Okay. Sorry, I'm always coming around. You're not serious, Doris. Hmm? I mean, Miss Vanessa can't be threatening to leave our boss. This is big. After her big declaration, she marched upstairs like an outraged mother hen that, <laughs> that an ink wanted to come and tell her children. Oh my god. I'm sure she's going to back her back. I just wish for her sake that she does not end up doing unreasonable things. I mean, they can always reach and understanding over the child like two mature adults. Because if she goes out like that, because good woman. Good woman. Are you not happy she's leaving? For me, it is good readers to bad rubbish. And I cannot stand her overbearing attitude. Hey! Doris. Ma? Doris. Ma? <laughs> I've always told you, this is not. It will end you up in trouble. It One day this house. Professor, you stop being irrational. What is wrong with you? How dare you, Jason? How dare you to think that you have an already grown up daughter and you kept it away from me? My God! If you're listening to anything that I am saying, do you hear me the first time I just told you? I just found out right now I have a 14 year old daughter and I never knew she existed, Vanessa. Oh, is, it, is it that you don't believe me? Jason, I feel betrayed. Not only have you betrayed me, you have betrayed the memory of your late wife's union. Oh, wife. stop this and stop being melodramatic. What, what is wrong with you? Really? Well, I've had enough of it already. I have! There is no way on earth I will accept the fact that my fiancé has an already grown up daughter. Come on, Jason, think of it. The idea is totally inconceivable. I can't take it. I can't. Really? So what are you going to do? What does it look like I'm doing, darling? I am leaving. I am calling off this engagement. I mean, I can take the fact that you are a widower. Yes, but a widower with a grown-up daughter? Hell no, I can't. I am leaving. I can't do this anymore, Jason. I'm leaving. Listen, we, we can talk this through. Jason, I am We can talk this through. Vanessa? Let me guess. You want her to stay? 
the dogs are not clean. Let me try to do Donuts. I have one too. Hey, this is your mouth to no, no, light me to trouble one day. Let me ask you something, eh? My mouth, my mouth, my mouth. What is wrong with this one now that I have seen? Do you not know that she is a spoiled brat? Eh? I'm not here with you. You're not here with me at all. You're not here with me. She will come back and say, Don't say she will be busting that sound. No, you don't know what I'm saying. She will come and be busting that sound. Mrs. Biggs, Mrs. Biggs, I want to scramble eggs and bread. Mrs. Biggs! Take the same one. Take the same one. Take the same one. Take the same one. Take the Talk about us like two, like two adults. Jason, I am not ready to talk anything through with you. I am leaving. You're leaving. Just like that. You're leaving. Do you realize what this would do? To our image, do you realize that people will talk? Do you realize that a lot of people would be upset by this singular act of yours? Have you even considered how your dad would feel? Jason, my dad would have to understand. Come on. I mean, there is nobody in their freaking mind that would expect me to marry you and be a mother to that skinny brat that looks like a cross between a sassafly and a mosquito when I haven't even thought of being a mother myself. I mean, ew, choose to talk. I'm leaving. Doris! Yes, ma'am! Who's that fat dog maid? I am leaving. Get my bags! Yes, oh. ma'am! Stand it. I can't even stand children not to talk about impudence one and Jason expects me to stay in this house. Doris! Get my bags! Oh! Oh! Get that. And you all fool, open that gate! Well, I guess it's time I formally introduce the both of you. Yeah, I think so too. Hilary, this is your father, Jason Igodalo. Hi, Mr. Jason. I'm pleased to meet you. to be a good girl, okay? Make me proud. I never ever forget that I love you. 
I will always, always love you. Jason, do take care of my daughter. But she's all I need. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. Dear diary, I really miss mom very much. Maybe the best thing I should do is to keep myself locked up in here in the room until Mr. Jason will have no choice than to send for mom to come and get me. <sighs> oh, but what if I go hungry? I don't want to die of hunger striking me because I always wonder what those people who died of hunger strike were thinking. Anyways, I guess locking myself up is not going to work. So what, what must I do? Very good. Mr. Jason actually has a love child from an affair he had several years ago. I could not have believed it even if someone had told me. I believe what does. That Mr. Jason is capable of parenting a child or what? You know, you know everything. Eh? Mr. Jason is always so serious. No hair gets out of the way. Even when his wife was around, they were only so stuffed up. And now this scandal, and I know one more about it. Doris. Hey. Doris. Yeah. I do a mouse. I'm sure Mr. Jason never intended the child to be a secret affair. Just that he never knew the child existed in the first place. Hey, whichever one is the same thing if you ask me. I'm not going to ask you. You don't even ask him. Eh? Good morning, please. Good morning. It's been how long was it again? I was so, so unthankful. I was just. No, you will not be. I would have been as boring as anything you could think of if not the change of events that happened with this house yesterday. Hey, Ruby, please. Pay no mind to Doris. Who doesn't know her love for this gossip? Mr. Jason has a 14 year old secret love child. Because I could not stand her over Papa's attitude. Oh, enough gossip for the morning. Doris, 
to go and take breakfast to Hilary's room. I'm sure she must prefer to eat in her room. Okay. Okay. Yes, Mrs. Briggs. I've heard you, Mrs. Briggs. All correct, Mrs. Briggs. Yes, the boss lady. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. What did you want to ask? Notice my disappearance yet. No matter what happens, I must get away. I must find mom before Mr. Jason finds me. Can add some weight. Thank you, Mrs. You know, you look like tiny mosquitoes. <laughs> I've told you that I'm a certified leper. Ah, yeah. My skinny bones cannot take any fat in my body. Send this off. Eat. Let's just see what you become. Oh, she's not here. Who is not here? I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> you need to be I want her away. She's not there. I assumed she's. Yeah, with you chatting. Oh, Doris, as you can see, she's not here with me. So, um, well, maybe um, father and daughter have started to have breakfast together just to catch up. Right? Okay, we'll be having a point here. Do you hear him? Well, uh, in that case, Mrs. Briggs, I'll 
I hope you don't mind if I have to go at this one hmm? because it is better it stays in the same one than Doris. Doris. Uh -huh. This kind of food is not meant for people of your size. And men of nowadays they don't like women big sized women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't worry. When that time comes, huh? I'll come to you for some answer because it is very obvious that you have money to give me Mr. Biggs by your side. <laughs> not my on your side. <laughs> Doris. Please, can you be a judge between both of us now? <laughs> Just tell me, between both of us, who looks like an elephant? Please don't put me in. No, you don't need to judge. Don't give any answer. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> One day, somebody is going to bust open this house. Bust here. Stop! And then we'll get it. Stop! Good morning, Mr. Jesse. Good morning, Doris. Sir. How are you, Mrs. Bill? Mr. Jesse, no work today, sir. Uh, no work today, Mrs. Bill. Oh. I'm taking today off. So, you know, it's my holiday time with my daughter. Mm -hmm. Father and daughter getting up until we get to know each other better. I hope you understand. Yes, sir. Great. I do understand. Thank you very much. Um, speaking of my daughter, where is she? Can you can you get that to come to me for breakfast? Ah, uh, Doris. Ah, uh, what is it? Hilary already had breakfast without you, sir. Without me. Is, is that what it is? No, sir. I went to her room to give her breakfast. She was not there, so I assumed she was with you. She wasn't in her room when you went there. So how could she be that? That's the confusing answer. But are you saying she? She, she, she's not. Stupid question is that, Doris? Mm. Are you out of your senses if I knew where my daughter is? Would I be asking you? I'm asking you, Mrs. Yes, Mr. Jason. No, yes, I'm asking you as to where is my daughter. Now, assuming that if you had looked around and you didn't see Hillary in this house, you would have at least looked for her and then come tell me that my daughter is missing or something. So, where is she? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Jason. Just like Doris said, we thought she was with you, sir. Now, you two tell me that what I'm thinking is. No, sir. It's not right. No, sir. I hope my daughter is not missing because if she is missing, I will hold both of you responsible for this. Doris! Is not here, and she just might be going to the house. She didn't. No, come here. I want to stay. I don't know. Sir, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I had an idea that Miss Hillary was planning on running away. I swear to God, I had no idea. No, 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 no
Please let them find her before somebody will lose her job. Watch out! Did you see my daughter? Did you see the little girl about 14? The funny hair style sleep? Did you see her daughter? Did you see her walk through that gate? No, I've not seen anyone walk through the Oh, come on, and you've been here all morning. And you're trying to tell me that you want you. Expect me to believe that she still that fence. I didn't see anybody, sir. You didn't see anyone? I didn't see her. I didn't see her. You didn't see anyone? No, sir. Open the gate for me. What? What do you think I'm going to do? You think I want to sit back here and then lounge? Can I do it? Sort of Get into the car. Drive me this way. Open the gate. Sorry, Papu just saw the car I put that shot. The money for front, please. Give me your money. Uh -huh. Is that my doctor? Is that my doctor? Bring your money. Is that my doctor? Yeah, what? Be it this side for the Christmas. This side will come here to play. What is the time for me? No, 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 I'm not going to take it easy on a girl. Don't you say she's just a child? Uh-huh. And we can't talk with that one. What do you think for this issue? Yes, I don't know the man your own business, Abby. Too small, girl. Too small, girl. Money, what are you doing? Where do you drop the street? I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. You're ready there now. If you don't pay your own, give me your money. Give me your money. If you want to pay for it, pay for it. If you don't pay for it, stop this smoke. Stop this smoke. Don't you come down. What is what? I don't Come up here, John. He's always down for that for that for you. Oh God. Oh God, I hope I'm not lost. for me yet. I don't even want to wait to mom's place. What am I going to do now? I just knew that God was in God. You know, she was in God and I didn't know what to do all the time with him. Um, no, no, no way am I going back to, to a father who thinks who thinks his daughter is a body.
it doesn't look to me like what Mickey had at all. I don't think so, sir. I think we should just um, park somewhere, get out of the car. All right? Yes, sir. If you think it's the best thing to do, sir. Park somewhere, get out of the car. But first off, don't you think we should check that roundabout one more time? Yeah, I think so too, because uh, there are too many people there. We'll check that roundabout one more time. Oh no. Why are you calling me for this? I, I hope no problem, sir. Oh, Susan is Hilary's mother. It is called motherly instinct, sir. Most uh, mothers, you know, when their children are in danger. Yeah, really? Yes, sir. And then you think that is something to smile about? No, why are you laughing? You think it's funny? Huh? You want me to take her calls and then tell her what her daughter is missing? Is it? I'm sorry, I didn't mean really that. You think it's everything you laugh about? Now listen, I'm going to get to that roundabout, alright? Yes, sir. Get to that roundabout, I park somewhere, alright? Yes, and when I park, you go left, I go right. We are not looking for a normal 14 year old girl wearing a dress. You and I know we're looking for Hilary. She's probably going to be wearing a t-shirt and a jeans with a knapsack. Do you understand me? Yes, it's good. Alright. Baby, <laughs> how are you? No, 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 sit down. I won't even name it. I'm from Jasper. Yeah, my friends. My friends in Jack from Chopinson. I'm in charge of this, this area. You know what I mean? Uh, this area. You are just Jasper. No, don't, don't, don't you worry. Don't, 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 don
never give in. He never give in. He never give in. He never enjoy. Hey, baby, now, why person? Now, why person? I'm bad. No, no, sit down. Hey, go, call Kawena Giwe. Call Kawena Giwe. Get out, get out, get out. What, what is wrong with you? Get out of here. Whoever never give in. Whoever never give in. Eh? Whoever never give in. What is it? Why are you trying to put some, some, some in my, in, in, in my garden? What is your problem? What is your problem? What is your problem? I'm talking to you. Are you talking to me? Why, why are you taking her away? Are you talking to me? Smoke out of that. Are you talking to me? Arranging. What is your problem? I will blow this for you in this neighborhood. Let me say it again. Let me say it again. You, do you know who I am? Your father. Your father. Something they want you for head. Your father, Papa. I will, I will deal with you. Wait, so God, who made me? I will finish you. Your father. I'm so sorry I ran away to the... It's alright, my little child. Yes, we forgive you. Oh, please. Don't ever do it again. I not. I'm not going to scold you. But I need you to know about what you did. You're stupid. You will be looking everywhere for you, Hilary, and that is why I want to know why you did what you did. Wait. Did I do something wrong to you? Was it something that I said? And what the hell is it? I need to know what it is so that we can avoid a repeat of this next time. What is it? Well, when I was going to say good morning to you this morning, I overheard you the conversation. How much, how much of a burden I was to you and you didn't know what to do with me. I tell you, I tell you, you don't know what you leave. It is to know that there is a call on the engagement as well. Because honestly, I was terribly, terribly choked out with that relationship. I couldn't deal with that anymore. And the thing is, I was, you know, hanging in there, playing around because my mother had approved of it. You know, but even at that, I, I, I just knew that God was in God. You know, she was in God and I didn't know what to do with her at the time. But hey, once the thing goes down, things are going to be right. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, who's lost now? Hard, man. What? You mean if I heard my conversation and you thought it was about you? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have. No, you shouldn't have! You should have been eavesdropped for the first place. You should have listened to the end of my conversation. I was talking about Vanessa. I had absolutely nothing to do with you. So we all lost our minds in this house. And I don't know that just because of this.
Dear Diary, it's me again. I want to say that today was the most horrifying day of my life. I should never ever have run away. But in the course of today's event, I have learned two things. One is that it is never good to run away from one's problem. It is better to face the problem head on. Because you never know it might turn out not to be as threatening as it had seemed initially. The second lesson is that one should never eat job on other people's conversation. Because then you're, you'd run the risk of, the risk of construing what you get to hear. Like the old cliche goes, if droppers never do hear good of themselves. I am very relieved to be back. Yours truly repentant, Hilary. I'm not so little, Mrs. Big. I'm 14 and my mom says I'm a big girl. Is that so? Mm -hmm. In that case, I'll tell the big girls the most in between months. Sorry, Mrs. Big. I'm already half rich. That's alright. Meanwhile, I have to drop this and run to the dining and try to be served in two minutes. Alright, Mrs. Big. Excuse me. Doris? Good morning, sir. Good morning. 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 Good you have to be good. You go first. I'll have you. Alright? Thank you. 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 Mrs. Biggs, I'll go say they are ready to take breakfast now. Of course, boss lady. Obi, you're enjoying. Good morning. I don't have to ask him if we used to is to your uncle because I can see that um you're enjoying every bit of it. Mm. Yes, Mr. Jason. Mrs. Speaks is a very good cook. The best time I must say. <laughs> is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be glad to hear that um I think so. I hope I'm safe, Mr. Jason. You are safe now. Why do you insist um, on calling me, Mr. Jason? 
I'm just saying I found you. You, you called me that. Um. And then suddenly you 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 reverted to calling me Mr. Jason Wild. Well, the reason I call you Mr. Jason is because you're practically a, a stranger to me and um, I have to know you well enough and know if I can trust you enough. You do understand me, Mr. Jason? Yeah. I suppose I understand a lot. So you want to tell me what happened yesterday? Because you called me that. Um, well, um, yesterday I was, I was terrified and I was just so relieved when you came to my rescue. Let's just say it's an emotional outburst. Interesting. Well, you can start to play with it. I'm um, sorry if I offended you, Mr. Jason. That's all right. Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Obi. How are you? Very well, sir. Mr. Obi, thank you very much for yesterday. I never thought to thank you. Thank you very, very much. I'm glad to help anytime, please. Thank you. Can I have the bag now? Sure. Alright. We have to go, okay? I promise me. I'll give you a good call. I will. I'm not getting yourself into trouble. I think I'm going to run away again in one month. Not this time, not anymore. Promise me. I promise. For your honor. For my honor. I think you'll have to go in Alright then. Have a great day. I sure will. Okay. Bye, Mr. Jason. Bye, Mr. Obi. And please drive carefully. Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I wonder what anyone can find to do with such a little like this. Let's see. Um, hmm. There's a pool outside, and the water looks very inviting. Oh. Why don't you try it out? I'll try to right now. So, what are you going to swim in? I think I have a belt.
Understand. Oh. So just make the call, okay? Okay, we'll understand. Of course, I'm sure calling. Call him. So how are you feeling now? I'm not feeling good. Yes. I'm not feeling good. 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 I'm not Is this all the sense? Hello? Hello, Doris? What are you... Um, calm down, calm down. What are you saying? What are you talking about? How is that? Huh? All right, you know what? You know what? Listen to me. Just calm down, all right? I'll be on my way right away. Excuse me, sir. Is something wrong? Council all meetings for today, all right? I have an emergency at home. My daughter almost dropped us. Council all meetings. Just go ahead. Thank you.
<laughs> Is that a compliment? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that I'm beginning to, you know, pick points with you, I am thinking that um, pretty soon you would learn to call me that, <laughs> right? Um, I'm okay. Maybe it's just some other <laughs> Me, your father. I'm doing okay. Yes, you are. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I hear you. You know what? I'll just um, I'll just let you rest. Okay. While I will take all of this up, off and yeah, you should relax as well because you connect me. Tonight, or don't you know that that is what your menstruation is called? 
What's up um, with the situation? What, what do we do? Because you can't tell me that all that blood is nothing. <laughs> so, that's not it for that anymore. <laughs> the blood you saw was little Miss Hilary's monthly food. Dear diary, I feel very weird today, uncomfortable and self-conscious. I suppose that must be how every girl feels the first time they get their menstrual period. Good morning, Miss Hillary. How are you? Mm. I'm sure that everyone already knows what happened to me last night. Are you okay? Good morning, Auntie Doris. Morning, son. It's time to do my cleaning, so you can do it. Hmm? It's good, it's good. Hot. 
Good morning, Mr. Jason. I see we are back to Mr. Jason. Huh? Something like So I should take it that um, yesterday night when you called me, Daddy, it was another outburst of emotion. Is it? All right, I guess that. So good morning to you too, Hilary. How was your night? Uh, and now you found Mrs. Bates. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Shall we? Sweetheart, you alright? Yes, Mr. Jason, I'm, I'm fine. You're fine, but you're not eating. Don't you want to eat? Aren't you in the mood for food this morning? Huh? What is the problem? You're not eating. What's so happened to you, Hilary? Will you quit this time and tell me what the problem is? What is it? Came it first time. Miss Hillary, what is happening? Miss Hillary, wait, wait. Miss Hillary, Miss Hillary. Oh. Miss Hillary, why would you make me run after you like that? I'm not as young as I used to be. Now look at it, my old bones are growing. <sighs> Neither am I as young as you are. So, tell me, what got you upset, my dear? Oh, sorry. I don't think Mr. Jason likes me anymore. But why would you say that? He's your father, isn't he? Yes. But I think he would have been happier if I said where he was. I know he doesn't show it, but... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hilary, this is the most foolish thing I have heard in all my life. Because he loves you. <laughs> oh my god, you will never stop to abuse me, will you? <laughs> oh my goodness. You called me with the Yes, Yes. Uh... Mrs. Biggs, I called you. I'm sorry I um, pulled you out. Uh, your chose. I just need you to to bring me up to speed about a few things. No problem, sir. It's a working Mrs. Biggs. Yes, Mr. Biggs. What else transpired last night apart from a matter with my daughter's best friend? Nothing happened, sir. Why do you ask me for this? Are you sure nothing happened? Nothing. She's acting strange. Mr. Oh, Mr. Nothing really obvious, but um. Quite disturbing, if you ask me. You know, she, uh, you know, she barely looked at me this morning. She was peeking at her foot. You could tell that there was something bothering her. And I, in turn, I can do that when I raised my voice. She burst into tears. And that's where we were like. I think the young lady is having a hard time. I think the father is now. They wouldn't want to be mad. How? After I helped Miss Hillary clean up, she made a surprising outburst. She said that 
that she never wanted to be a girl. That she hated the whole idea. And that she wished God had created her a boy. How is that? But God had to think like that. I think it's due to a conception she had that if she were a boy, that you and your family will willingly welcome her into your family. She said that. Yes, Mr. Jason, she said that to me. Are you sure she said that? Yes, Mr. Jason, she said that to me, sir. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hmm? Please forgive me. <laughs> but you see, what you said is totally unbelievable. I know, I'm sorry. But my mom told me that she sent a message across to Mr. Jason that she did that to a baby girl. But he refused to come. Neither did any member of his family. But why would they do that? I don't understand. Because the Jason family want a first child to be a baby boy and to hold the family name and dynasty. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. But the little I know is that my boss, Mr. Jason, is a very kind man. Very, very kind. And I do not think he will be that wicked not to love and appreciate you, his own daughter. You want to think of it to his only child. Are you sure? Yes, I am. I am. Hmm? I have never heard of a more stupid notion. Where on earth? Where on earth? Did she get that from? Sir, uh, I can't say. The way I think about it, Mr. Jason, you realize that Miss Hillary's tomboy behavior must have stayed from that very misconception, sir. You know, I can't tell you that I understand why. But I show you that it looks like raising an adolescent girl is, is way more than I ever gained for Mrs. Biggs. I am at my own time. I tell you. Mr. Jason, I believe you. Do just fine, sir. You know, just like a little flower plant needs a dose of water and sunshine every day. What I think little material needs is lots of love and attention. And you will see, sir, she will bloom into a very beautiful princess, sir. Quite deep. Love and attention, you said. Quite deep. <laughs> All right, I agree with you. Henceforth, it will be a little dose of love and attention. Thank you so much for your wisdom. Much appreciated. You can go.
I called you out here because I felt the need to speak with you. But first off, I want to apologize for screaming at you during breakfast. Sir, you know, I'm just. I'm just new to this whole being a dad thing and while I'm at it, I'm also trying my very best to be the best dad that I can be to you. So when you have a lot bottled up inside and I see myself as your best friend and you're not opening up to tell me what the problem is. I I get confused. I get frustrated. And I get worked up. And I get irritated to the point where I raise my voice. You know, just to just to let out steam. And because I love you and the less you learn. Just because it's your way to to prop my emotions and maybe exhale. I don't mean to scare you, but that's how most of it are. But having said that, I'm sorry. Alright. I I didn't know that. You know, I I didn't have I didn't have I also didn't have a dad for you. I know. And that is why I've decided to take the day off to be with you. Yes. You know, to, to go out with you, to see places. Oh, well, you can call it um, <laughs> getting to know each other on venture, father and daughter. Do you really mean that? Yes, I do. Don't you uh, have some important? Yes, I do. But I'm looking at those meetings and I'm looking at my very beautiful daughter. And I can tell you for sure that they are not as beautiful. They are as important as my lovely daughter. So I'd rather. Change it to something really, really nice so that daddy can take you to somewhere when it's special. I'm sorry, I want to show you something. I'm sorry. It's me, Jason. Um, I need you to help me get a very good interior decorator. Very urgent. Very urgent. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jenny. You're the best. Much appreciated. Yeah, you too. Bye. Everything 
Oh, my job. So I just need to be there so we go out together. Okay. Yeah. Wow, ah, that was very cool. Oh, my job. Ah, and you must promise me I'm going to have fun. Oh, can I? Let's just see you. Hey! I didn't even make you happy. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, no. Stop that. Oh, my God. How fun. Alright, I'm ready, Mr. Jason. How do I look? Um. You look okay. You look, uh -huh. you look alright, but I still think you're in that need of, of a change of wardrobe. There's nothing wrong with my kids. Well, that insists that um, we stop by a boutique first. Alright, so hop in. Alright, whatever you say, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> Sit down first. Yeah. For safety reasons, to avoid serious injury during accident. I'm happy. You know. I'm I'm have a snap. <laughs> yeah. Great.
Hey, Vanessa, how are you doing? But have I formally introduced my daughter Hilary? You mean your little brat? Well, I have been introduced to her before. I don't think I need a recap. If you must excuse me. Thank you. Oh my. She's still a sad girl. Oh yeah, she is. Do you think you considering getting married? Um let's just say. <laughs> And you saved my life. <laughs> After you. <laughs> you like that? Mm -hmm. All right. Jason, mm. so this is where the rich and famous come to it. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, given the start of the business, it can be seen that it's expensive. So I will just say that um, it's basically those who can afford it that are My point exactly. That's for the rich. <laughs> All right, the smart about you win. <laughs> so you, 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 you come here because you can afford Hmm. Tell you what. I come here because um, this, the food you have here is is made under proper hygiene conditions. It's it's nice. Yeah. And then yes, yes, Hilary, I can afford it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what? But the food is good, but I still prefer Mrs. Big's cooking. You think she's the best, huh? She's a better cook anytime, any day. Yeah, just like I believe that you're the best daughter. Anyone. Can I wish for? God, see, I'm making me blood. <laughs> Well, that's such a sweet thing to say, Mr. Jason. I just have no choice. I hope you understand. Aren't you going to answer that conversation? No, it's it's not important. I don't think the person thinks the same way. Oh well, maybe, but it's it's not important. So I don't have to call the person back. Okay. Yep. All right. It's our time together. 
darling. And what is more important to me right now is to be with my beautiful daughter. Alright, so this is business. You can be taking care of it. Alright, Mr. <laughs> so I guess we should come here more often. Huh? Since you like it. Yeah, I do. Great, that's that's good. At least we'll follow somewhere you like. Shoot. All the boys say they own the you Only big girls can roll with you Stop, drop the low, get a tab of shoot Then we locks and the gun though I see braids in your photo You say you saved up and you bought phone <laughs> Like we don't know Mommy, shall it say We should stay in the compound We must read our books Oh, we said Keep your eyes closed, keep your eyes closed, keep your eyes closed, keep your eyes closed. One second, we're almost there, just walk uh, a bit left. Great, keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight. All right, here we are now. Okay, now this is a horrid work. I hope you like it. Now this was done in a hurry while we're out having fun. Okay, so don't judge daddy now. Mm. Uh, all right, so we're going to have a quick countdown, all right? Um, mm. Calm down. <laughs> From five to one, all right? So five, okay. four, three, three. Two, two, one. Boom. <laughs> you like me? So I clean me. Mm. So beautiful. Thank you. Mm. You should like it. You should like it. Come on. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. This is really, really nice, huh? You should like it. Look around. This is good. <laughs> You're welcome. Alright, so um so my being here makes me a first guest. <laughs> Ah, okay, so I should take it then that you must have written something about me. I just hope you were nice to me. <laughs> ah, hope you did justice to my character. Of course I did. I wrote about you. I wrote how handsome you are and uh, how cool and wonderful that that would be, even if you're still learning. I'm glad to throw that one in now. <laughs> ah, okay. I just came to say good night. Okay. All right. Okay. Good night. Good night, Dad. And um, it's for real, not an emotional outburst. Um...
Well, just you have to calm down. For all we know, this could be a false alarm. Dr. Sam, as much as your comment is pacifying, I'm worried. Because from what you just told me right now, it's either she's sexually active or she's pregnant. So at the end of the day, I just might have to deal with something. Well, uh, that is a possibility, but um, it's um, unlikely. I pray this is not true. Doctor, I pray this is not true. Because if it is true, I'm going to have to deal with the person responsible for this. Yes, uh, yes. You see, the nurse has taken your daughter for, you know, pregnancy test. And this, the result will soon be out. So why don't you calm down? My point exactly, that has been a couple of minutes ago. When, when are we going to get this result? Well, not very long, I can assure you. But meanwhile, why don't you tell me how you, you know, became a father of a 14-year-old teenager? Dr. Sam, trust me, you don't want to crack that nuts today. <laughs> it's a long story. It's a long story. Someday we shall talk about it. <laughs> It's okay. Are you not being spoiled, little black girl? Yes? Imagine. I think you're so pregnant. Ah. What did you do? Anyway, I'm not surprised. You said three children which are very, very useful. Sorry, I'm talking to you. Well, just give me your wrist quickly. Just take your blood sample for your pregnancy test. Keep your hands well. Ah. <clears throat> um, you can now go. Go to the doctor's office. Your father is there waiting for you. So both of you can stay there and wait for him. You have to do it, okay? Ma, please, be careful, be gentle. Can you imagine? Was that how she sounded to the boy that got her pregnant? At the age of 14, and she's already pregnant. Eh? What this sweet children, eh? Yeah. That's my story. That's how I um, found out that I have a 14 year old daughter. I, I must tell you that living with her has been quite, um, it's been quite an enlightening experience for me, even as a young man, you know. You begin to see life differently. I know. Children are such a joy. And I must say, I'm happy for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Have you told your mother of the existence of a teenage granddaughter? That one? Uh, no. 
<laughs> no, I haven't um, gotten around to doing that yet, but I will. I will. I am sure she will be glad to to know about it as soon as possible. Well, I suppose, but uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. But, uh, I will. I'll tell her. Yeah. yeah. Hey, sweetheart. Come, 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 sit with daddy. It's okay. All right. Great moving. Wonderful. So. It's all right. You'll be fine. Okay. That's why we're here. All right. And that's why the doctor is here as well. So you'll be good. Um, why don't you excuse me? Let me go and see to the test myself. All right. No problem. I'll be back. Thank you. Bye. your consent. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, did anyone, you know, touch you in intimate places, you know, intimate parts of your body? You know what I mean? Yeah. So what happened? What makes you think that you're pregnant? Right? Yeah. Very beautiful. Thank you, Auntie Barry. And I know they will all be very beautiful. Your dad must have spent a lot of money to play with you. Of course he did. I believe he's real showing me how much he loves. Mm -hmm. So, you in turn must make him proud by not putting him to shame, by getting him to trouble. Okay. Trouble and shame, I don't understand. Mm, you know, you you just testing your period, so I know nobody must have talked to you about this. Oh. See, now that you have testing your period, mm, uh -huh. you have to be very careful so as not to put your family to shame by getting into trouble. And by that, I mean allowing a boy to get you pregnant. And that could happen if you as much as let a boy touch you or hold your hand, you just get pregnant. Mm. Auntie Doris, well, I was taught in school that you only get pregnant through fertilization. What stupid, useless fertilization? Those are your teachers that don't know anything. The only thing they know is how to stuff money into, into, the, into their pockets. Okay, the fertilization they are talking about is not between a boy and a girl, a man and a woman. Is it between cassava and flour? Listen to me. Hmm? If you as much as allow a boy to touch you or a man to hold your hand, bam, touch my heavenly God, you're pregnant. But my story is what about my dad? He didn't say a man to your dad is the only exception to this rule. Every other boy, man, Obio, uh, uh, gate man, all of them. No, 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 no at all. They are completely out of it. Don't allow them to touch you. Do you hear me? You heard me again. Water the plant. 
Get your hands off me, will you? Come on, take it easy. Get your hands off me. sick about you, tell me what happened. Well, well the, the result of the pregnancy test is out. And um, it is negative. You mean I'm not pregnant after all? Yes, little Miss Hillary. You see, what you had was a mild uh, case of malaria, um, which was why I think you are feeling tired and sickly. Well, uh, my dear, your Auntie Doris is wrong. It takes more than a touch from the opposite sex for one to get pregnant. Do you understand me? In fact, there is nothing wrong with a handshake or even a hug from a boy. You hear what I said? Gosh, Doctor. I'm so relieved. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, Dr. Thank you so much. So we can leave that, right? Yeah. yeah. So, Mr. Jesse. Yes, sir. I am happy that the pregnancy issue has been cleared up. <laughs> yes, it has been cleared. And I am so, so thankful for the time you put into this. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Yes, and I um, think I would suggest that you caution your your housemate mm. over the kind of misinformation she dishes out to your daughter. Definitely, I would do. So let me get back to work now. Thank right. you, Doctor. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care of yourself, yeah. All right, Doctor. Okay, bye bye. Thank All right. You. Thank you. Um, Dad. Yeah. Um, please, really, I need to stop Okay. Are you sure? Yes, just a little thing I need to straighten out. All right, no problem. Then I'll look for you in the car. All right, I promise I won't take your time, Dad. All right. All right.
Um, hang on. Yes, I am. Um, I don't know. I just need to talk to you for a few minutes. We'll make it snappy. Of course I will. Um, I don't know if you remember, but I'm the girl whose blood you collected um, for a pregnancy test. <coughs> oh, I see. Um, so, yeah, I came to inform you that um, cannot make it. Yeah. And if you do know, I think you owe me an apology. What? Yes, because I heard when you called me a sport with girl, because you thought I was pregnant. But even if I were, as someone that serves the public, I think um, you ought not to express your views in such way. Because there are many things that could result to teenage pregnancy. I I'm sure you know that, right? Yeah. <clears throat> You're right. You know, um, I'm sorry for the way I brought to you. Okay. Apology accepted. No hard feelings. So, um, I need to run now, my dad is looking for me. Okay. All right. I, bye. Yeah, thanks. No, Samaya. What was that about? Oh, that was a little spoiled brat girl that came for her pregnancy test. Oh. Not of mine. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's loud. Alright, that's a little bit like a baseline. She do it for the grave vine. She looks like the daytime, but she comes up whenever you say night. See, old man, she's calling baby boy. What? Till tomorrow before they return. We are waiting for the day you born. With the way it's bouncing, you can say it's born. Yeah. Shoe borrow bag and she borrow shoe. All the boys say they own you. Only big girls can roll with you. Stop, drop the low, get a parachute. Yeah, right. we locks in the gun, though. Uh -huh. I see braids in your foot toe. You say you saved up and you bought phone. <laughs> like we don't know. Mommy, shut it. That's Doris. Of course not. Why on earth do you say that? It's strange the boss wants to see her out of the house. And they are still not back. Is that all? And it never occurred to you that they may have gone to visit someone. You just rush into conclusions, Doris. Eh? This is this. You did not see the way Mr. Jason rushed to see her out of the house. I think they have a fire. Nothing is wrong, Doris. Just go back to your duties. Let's go. Seriously, Dad, I am so glad that I'm not pregnant. I don't want you to feel ashamed of me as a daughter. I'll never be ashamed of you. Alright. You're my daughter. And I love you. Whether good or bad, Daddy loves you. Okay? I know how bad it would have looked if you were pregnant, but I would still love you.
Observant, you would realize that times have changed. Right? These kids are a lot smarter now, so you're, you're safer with, if you tell them the truth about things like this and then guide them judiciously. All right? <laughs> Probably in, in your time and in my time, tales like that could work. I'll probably stay us away from such vices, but now we'd, we'd have to. Pull them closer and then do the truth. Okay? It will never happen again, sir. It's alright. And then, for what it's worth, I want to let you know that I appreciate um, you and Mrs. Beasley a whole lot in trying to help me raise my daughter. I mean, given the fact that I'm a single man, it's kind of really, really tasking bringing up that girl. I see you making efforts to ensure that uh, she goes up the right way. Thank you so much. I mean, I couldn't have wished for, for a more caring staff. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. We, are, we are going to continue doing our best. And thank you very much for not sucking me this time, too. <laughs> thank you, sir. You're welcome. Hello, Jason. Yeah, what was that I heard when I called you earlier on? I heard a child's voice um, calling you dad and saying she's pregnant. <laughs> I am not kidding you on the Look, I have a 14-year-old daughter. What? I know. I know you're shocked. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> no, no, come on. You're, you're, you're kidding, right? Like it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a funny situation at all. All right, she just ran up to me and told me that she's pregnant. All right, uh, I'll be damned. I was blown away when I heard the childish voice or the child's voice rather making such claims. But it's okay, it's okay. Um, we'll talk about it later. But hey, you have a lot of explaining to do. Be very ready for me, okay? What have you left the house this morning? Mm, something like that. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So, do you mind telling me why you rushed up as if the house was on fire? Um, the thing is, Mrs. Biggs, I, I had gone to inform my dad that I thought I was pregnant. What? God? Oh, my child. What gave you such a nonsense idea? Wow, it's hilarious, I know, Mrs. Biggs. But the thing is, Aunt Terry told me that since I've first in my period, that if a boy has not have touched me, I would automatically get pregnant. Doris, what? This girl will not succeed in giving me heart attack in this house. Eh? For goodness sake, that tale is as old and outdated as my great grandmother. So how would I have known that this is it? When she told me the reproductive um, lessons my teachers taught me was, was the first one. Oh, that. Imagine that, my dear. Eh? And your poor daddy. He must have had a heart attack when you told him that. Eh, he's mighty relieved now that he just a false alarm. Boy, am I so relieved too. Thank God. Doris. Doris. I get this encouraging. I don't know from which planet he. Ha! God. Let me just share up, okay? Ah, okay now, Mr. Vick. I'm better. told me what an adventure the both of you had today over the advice I gave you. It was an adventure indeed, Auntie Doris. Mm -hmm. But Cherry was wrong. Well, of course it was wrong. 
Everybody knows he's wrong. Even our mothers knew he was wrong when they told us. But it's just a theory they used to put fear in us when we were growing up. I understand, Auntie Doris. I hope my dad wasn't too hard on you. No, not really. At least this time he didn't sack me for my mistake. <laughs> Um, I understand, Auntie Doris. Thank you. I know you meant good. But from now onwards, I'll take everything you tell me with a little pinch of salt. Well, you need to. You're not supposed to trust everything you hear. Mm. That is not the true characteristic of a pure Niger girl. Oh! <laughs> a Niger girl, I mean. Yeah. Auntie Doris. Yeah, yeah. Alright. <laughs> had to write um some eventful things that happened today. You know, it's just too funny for me to pass up. You know the rich you're going you're gonna end up on the right and you know that happens. <laughs> <laughs> well quite eventful if you ask me, but I'm hoping that you don't have to scare me like that today. Ah, don't worry that I won't. You you actually handled it quite more than I expected. Yeah, just like you handled it in a very mature manner. Just like an adult. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. I like him to keep it. Special friend. Remember. You want to talk me in? Something. I was about coming down anyway. No, no, no. Actually, I think you got things. You know something? What? Well, you didn't have a surprise. You didn't say you didn't know. Okay. I know it's something you're going to love. I couldn't stand another moment of not hearing. 
I did, baby. <laughs> so much. I did too. But I'm really happy to know you have been a good girl. I have to know I did a great job raising you. Yeah, you should. <laughs> From where I stand, Susan, I bet you this. Welcome back, Dad. How are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you. How was your day? It was very fine. So you only came to visit. So I see. What are you doing in my house, sir? <clears throat> Jason, you left me no choice. After you refused to pick my calls, reply my messages, I had no other option but to come here and visit my daughter. I'm her mother after all. Your daughter? <laughs> oh, please don't be a half because you don't even understand me of that word motherhood. No, I don't think you do. Don't sit down there and make me laugh. Because you're not a comedian. Because if I'm to judge you by the turnout of events since this girl came into my house, then you have failed as a mother. And what exactly do you mean by that? Jason! You heard me the first time. If you're not comfortable with my tone of voice, if you're not comfortable with my language, get out of my house. Just look at me. You're not going to fight. Please don't fight. I'm too late, it, so. It's okay, we're not fighting, alright? Um, your mom and I would just go upstairs to my study and, you know, have a little talk as adults, okay? So why don't you just go to the kitchen? I've got a few things for you. Some candy bars, look at me darling. Ice cream, I have that with um, Mrs. Biggs, all right. Waiting for you to come back then, all right? Come baby.
No, I hate that. Jason, you have no right. You have no right whatsoever. And I resent your questioning my capabilities as a mother and in the process believing me in the presence of my own child. You know what? You can send me for all you like. I don't care. Really? You see what I said down there is my opinion of who you are. Well, hold on a second. Is it that you forgot yourself and got carried away chasing after men? That you forgot to give your growing daughter the basic instructions that a mother should pass onto a growing child? Is that it? What in God's name are you talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. Huh? Alright, fine. I'll give you an example. How come? You never thought about telling our daughter what the menstrual period is. You didn't think about it? What? Are you saying that? I said it! You think of it? Well, I, I, I didn't think it was necessary. In fact, I didn't think I should, I should have known her. I mean, she hasn't yet. You know, she was late. And she should have been like... Okay, I'm walking 
speaking can you hear me sweetheart I know you can hear me all right and I know you're very very upset I am also upset please just calm down and open the door please I beg of you all right so at least I can at least come in and apologize to you for everything that has happened so that I can at least com comfort you please darling Hillary can you hear me Hillary Sweetheart, please. I, 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 I know you know me, all right? You know, you know me. You know that everything that has happened here today isn't my fault at all. What? Just please. What? Are you now saying that it was my fault? Can you Is that what you're trying to say? Shut up. She could hear you, you know. Yes, yeah, she could hear me, but why you saying it's my fault? Shut up. It wasn't my fault. Excuse me. I'm going to break your neck. Shut up. I'm going to shut up. Goodness, this is just what is wrong with you. You shouldn't say it's my fault because it's not my fault. Yeah. Leave me alone. Yeah. Oh no, no, I'm not going. My baby needs yeah. me. Get your filthy hands off me. Get out. Get out. Jason, Get if you out. think I am going to leave this house with my daughter in that condition, then you have another thing coming. She's not in condition. Look at you. Nice try. So you suddenly think that this little show of unspared will change my impression of who you are. Listen to me, this is the last time you came in. You left me when I did the pressure. I still have it here. Right? So don't go thinking that this little drama you created here will make me suddenly begin to think that you care about my daughter. Like, no, get out. You think I care what you care? No, I don't. I give no damn if you think that I care about my daughter or not. But as her mother, I have rights. Oh yes, you have rights. A matter that I am going to deal with in a few days. With my letters, of course. Meaning? And I intend to strip you of every right you have to have access to my daughter. In addition, there will be a restraining order that will stop you from coming to this house or getting 50 inches close to my daughter. Don't you dare, Jason. Don't you dare threaten me. You want to try? Hmm? You want to try? Hi, baby. First and foremost, I don't think you both are setting good examples for me. When you fight and argue so much, no, you've always taught me never to fight, argue, or get physically. I am into it. Any of my schoolmates. Because an attitude like that doesn't make me a good girl. And it shows lack 
of whole chain. <laughs> My point. <laughs> Lack of hope chain. My sentiments are sad. That's not the point, Mom. The point I'm trying to make here is I know you both can't get along. We can't stand each other. But couldn't you just try at least? For me? See, Mom, I love you so much. I truly do. But I've gotten to know my dad too. And I've, I've come to love him. My secret wish for us to live as one big happy family would. It might never come true. But I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to choose between both of you. This is the best cook in the whole world. This is good. <laughs> That's good. It's a thing that your mother thinks so as well. So. That's good. That means I'm about to learn because I need to eat well. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, please. Husband? Yep. Her husband. What? You got married without telling me. I couldn't believe that you actually get out of I'm not married without any marriage. What? Sorry, I'm not going to be married. I'm not going to be married. I'm not going to be married. Why would you want to hide the existence of your husband? Alright. 
Let's try to do again. Of course not. Let's try to get back to the idea. It's my yeah. pleasure too. Ah, your daughter here, Hilary, she's such a delightful child. Oh. I'm so honored to formally meet the woman who is responsible for that. <laughs> thank you so much. It gives me so much joy to hear you say this. And thank you for taking good care of my Hilary. Welcome, I'm really grateful. Thank you, Madam Hadi, that all. Like Mrs. Big said, she is such a delight to so take care of me. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you, Doris. Thank you for saying this. And um, Mrs. Big, it was a very delicious lunch you made out there. <laughs> I had, I had to, I, I ate so much. Oh my God. Yes. You see, this is big. My mom thinks you're a fantastic cook too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my child. Thank you, mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, mom. Come, let me show you my room. Okay, nice meeting you. Sure. Bye. 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 See you later. <laughs> Hi, this is a big C5 deal. Hey. But I don't know if you have to drink down for me to see. Clean your stove and you wash your dishes. Mm. Well, let's just say that was once in my life was not a mistake. Really? It's not what you got to do. Well, not in so many words, but um... He didn't do so badly when he chose you, Mom. Did he? Hilary. The things you say sometimes. <laughs> oh, Mom. Are you and that going to ever part things up between you? Please don't, Hilary. Your dad is a forgotten chapter in my life. And I don't wish to revisit my past. Um, is that why you got married without telling me? How could you do that, man? Miss Hilary's mother is a very pretty oh lady. God. She is such a pretty woman indeed. Did you see her? Now she speaks. <laughs> like she just came back from. <laughs> but that leads me to wonder why the long separation between the boss and the pretty lady. Because looking at them, anyone who has eyes will see that they are suited for each other. Don't you have eyes? Doris. Ma? Doris. Ma? May I remind you that you are not paid to wonder at other people's private lives, for goodness sake. So don't stick your nose into where you do not belong. Doris. Mrs. Biggs, you're just no fun at all. In fact, you're no longer any fun. Small gist. Gist! Small. Doris, go! I'm going. To just gist, small gist. Do you have to make it obvious? Ever since you were born, everything I've ever done has always been for your good. I want you to understand that I will never, ever do anything to hurt you. But mom, is that why you did? Shh. I know. But I will explain everything in due time. Just, just give me, just trust me this one more time. Okay. Okay, mom. All right. Um, sorry to. To interrupt, the, the car is ready to be washed. 
I guess it's time to say goodbye then. Yes, baby. But I promise I will always be safe. Okay, Shannon. That's it, your dad. Now come on, you have a permission to come here. You have time for your hands. Okay. Yeah, come see us, right? I am happy that mom and dad has finally agreed to work on getting along. Parents shouldn't really fight, especially not in the presence of their children. Because if I am to be a judge by the way, seeing mom and dad fight made me feel today. Then I believe it makes children unhappy and the way I say it, an unhappy child equals to a rebellious child. <sighs> well, I'm keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that this truth will last. Dear diary, today started very peacefully and uneventfully, but I never knew that I was in for appalling surprises. First was Eddie who refused to talk to me. Hi Eddie. Obviously he's still upset over our last encounter. Then along came that to give me the dreaded news. Hello, my pumpkin. How are you? Hello, Daddy. What are you doing? I'm just writing in my diary. Great. Hope your write-up is interesting this time. Of course, it always is. <laughs> All right, speaking of interesting things, I just got off the phone with your grandma. Guess what? What? She just told me she'd like to meet her granddaughter. Um, what do you think? I don't know. Why? Why is your face like that? Huh? Nothing. Uh, look at look at me, darling. I assure you. All right, it's going to be a very lovely experience getting to meet grandma. She wants to meet you. All right. All right. Uh, Good. So, by the way, once you're done writing, you want to see me? I'll be up in my study. All right. I'll find time to pack your things. Sir. All right. All right. Yeah. Catch up. All right. Bye. Really, Miss Hillary, you are still excited at the prospect of seeing your grandmother for the first time. Why? Your grandmother is a very important person in this society. You should feel honored being related to her. But that's not the point of the story. I'm scared of being such an important person I see. I may not be accepted and I may not meet her expectations. Well, now that you have mentioned that your grandmother does have this formidable new nonsense look around her, I actually quiver in my shoes whenever she comes to this place. Thanks for making me feel comfortable. Thank you. 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 Thank
Mm. I'm sorry about that. But I'm just talking from the point of view of the domestic help. Maybe she'll be different to us too. Who happens to be her lead? Good heavens, Hilary. Don't tell me you plan on taking those to your grandmother's house. What? No, I have no clothes now. Absolutely. Young lady, if you are looking at getting disapproved by your grandmother, then that tomboy outfit is the surest way to it. Your grandmother is one person who believes in everything being put in its right place. That is, girls knowing their girls and behaving like girls and boys like white. as an ego I prescribe a total and complete overhaul of her personality. Yes. Fix her up. What a magnificent house. I had thought that my dad's mansion was the most impressive. But now I know better. Two mansions belonging to one family. The Hodalos must be really, really super rich. So shall we go see grandma? She's waiting. Good evening, Mr. Jason. 
Oh yeah. Good. That's good. You're good? That's good. Yeah. Right. It's good to have you come visit us again. It's good to see you too. It's been a long while. Yeah, yeah, oh. Cool. Uh, who is the younger handsome chap up beside you? This is my daughter Hilary. Oh, Hilary, how are you? I'm fine, Mr. James. Hilary, this is Mr. James. Um, he's been our butler, my mother's right hand man for for as long as I can remember. Sir. Please, what is the menu of a butler? Oh, that's uh, in a nutshell. Um, a butler is a major domo. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is the chief son, main servant in the household. Um, he is vested with uh, the responsibilities of the civilian guests and the civilian in the house, directing the serving of meals. Are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah. Good. But do you enjoy your job? Of course, I do. You are Miss. Um, Hilary. Hilary, yes. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be here this long. Because my mom always tells me that the most important thing about having a job is the fulfillment you derive from it, not how much you're paid. Miss Larry, that is absolutely correct. Your mother must be very smart. She is very smart. Uh -huh. Very smart. You know, this is the first time I'm actually meeting about that. Wow. Yes. Let's say, the pleasure is all mine. Hi, how are you? Are you okay? How are you? I'm okay, I'm good. Uh, you can see I was on my way down. Yeah, by all means. Yeah. Nothing I think I found that part that is too much. You tell your family? Mm-hmm. I'll be one of your grandmas for the guys. Oh, I thought it was not. What does that mean to get? Ah, the other question. All right, let's just say grandma is used to having these people around her. Also, say having them around. You know, sometimes. That's the young people. I've answered your question, darling. Grandma. Mother? <laughs> Welcome home, son. <laughs> look at you, you look well. Thank <laughs> God, thank God. And it's been ages since you last came this time. Come on, Mom, stop. You know that's an exaggeration. I was here, I was here wearing it not too long ago. Mm. Right, and besides, I've been busy trying to, you know, be successful. Oh, <laughs> too busy being a CEO. No. Did you forget your poor mother? Is it possible to stop <laughs> loving you now? Well, where is my granddaughter? Come on. Come on, darling. That's grandma. Go say hi. Yes. Come, 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 my dear daughter. Come and say hello to your grandmother. Mm. I'm well. But how do you do it? What is your name? What? You mean she named her after your father? Stop! We can come out. What is wrong with me, Jason? 
I'm a Cecilia. I'm really sorry if my name seems to have offended you in some way, but you see, my mom called me Hillary because she had become a kid. Well, you didn't turn out to be a boy. She could have gone for a scan. And maybe she would have known, they would have told her that she would have to go, and she would have looked for more suitable things for you. I guess you're right. Maybe she never thought of it, or maybe she barely had enough. Because I've heard her complain about how she barely had enough when she was pregnant with me. I see. Anyways, I read my name now that I know I'm named after my girlfriend that's sad. I really hope one mom was not offended about what I said at lunch today. But it's truly an honor to be named after a man who said he handedly achieved all this. Oh, how I wish I actually met my grandfather Hilary Godano. I'm sure he wouldn't be as uptight as my Grandma Cecilia. Oh! What's... Is that a CCTV camera? Wow. I've always heard of, about it, but I've never actually touched it. I hope nobody is going to get mad at me. Look, there's absolutely nothing to confirm, all right? Hilary's my daughter. Well, are you saying that your ex-girlfriend will just spring up with a grown-up child on you claiming that she is yours and you will swallow it hook, line, and sinker just like that? Mother, she is my daughter. She is mine. Are you insinuating that Susan has, has lied to me about Hillary's paternity? Is that what you're saying? Not exactly. I'm just saying that issues like this and, and, you know, considering the worth of our families, we can never be too careful. Mother, I totally understand, all right? I understand what you're trying to say. But I love Susan. She, she can't possibly lie to me about a thing like this, no. Is that so? <laughs> I didn't know you trusted her that much. Oh, come on. Hilary is my daughter, right? She is mine. I mean, it's it's clear. Mm. Right? That girl is an Hodalu through and through. I mean, look at her. You don't tell me that you haven't noticed that she inherited her streak of stubbornness and self-conceitedness from you. I have to say that myself. Well, I agree she's very outspoken. I give her that. Mm. Like her grandma. <laughs> but that's true, mother. I mean, that girl just reminds me of you. Come on, ma. Lady that it was only a spring. No bones were broken. 
But I would suggest you leave uh, such exercise for boys. Don't jump like boys, okay? What I cannot understand is what you were looking for up that ladder in the first place. Huh? My goodness, girl. You shocked all of us. And I'm sure that by now my blood pressure has gone up more than a notch. Ah, uh, no worries. You're right. I think I should be on my way now. Absolutely. It's wonderful. Thanks. It's all of us. You know, what is the Thank you. Thank you. Where is the BP medication I requested for? Um, Mr. Jason, I hope your mother is taking the appearance of your daughter from the blues very well. Oh, well, that's, um, <laughs> let's say she's, uh, you know, taking it as well as expected. I know your mother. I know she takes family very seriously, and uh, your daughter is very intelligent and resourceful. I am sure she will win over Mrs. Celia in the time. Thank you very much. That's, um, that's no doubt at all. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I want to say thank you so much for being here on such a short notice. I really, really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, have a nice day. All right. Take it easy now. I'm really sorry, Grandma. I, I never meant to cause you distress or make your blood pressure shoot up. Well, that's okay. You should have known better than to go climbing up a wobbly ladder. Like Dr. Sam said, you should leave such activities of climbing ladders to boys and men. Yes, you're right, Grandma. I should have never gone up the ladder. Yes, you shouldn't have gone up the ladder. All right? Next time you don't do things like that, okay? So you don't panic us. Yeah. All right? Because you have fault, I hereby sentence you. So I just I know you Okay. Good night, Good night,
Mama, you came to see me in my house with my precious granddaughter. I'm, I'm all right, Mama. I can't believe you came to see me. Hmm. I'm not a monster grandmother. I'm sure of that. No, I don't mean it that way. It's just I know you would be very upset with me. So does this mean you've forgiven me already? Oh yes, I have. It's just that you're fighting the life out of me. But I'm happy that you're all right. I, mean, I couldn't stand my granddaughter losing an arm on her first visit to her grandmother, could I? I suppose not. Well, now, wipe off that gloomy face of yours and put on a lovely smile for me. And a hug. It seems that today promises to be filled with a lot of surprise. To say that I was surprised yesterday when grandmother asked me to give her a hug would be a total understatement. I mean I was knocked over by surprise. <laughs> I must confess that after that hug she didn't seem as formidable as I believed she was before. And like I said, there are more surprises in store. This, for example. Oh my goodness, you know what? I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Come on, take a closer look at it. I hope that you show the same enthusiasm as you did for the iPad. jeans young lady as long as you're here all jeans are on suspension oh. all right grandma but you should know that there are actually jeans for girls too not all jeans are for boys <laughs> all right miss know it all well even those feminine jeans or whatsoever you call them they still make you walk carelessly you walk carelessly and behave like a boy now you get a lovely dress out of there and put it on and you be ready. Your cousins will be here any moment from now. Alright, girl. I was actually, this is up the chisel. Like, seriously, so beautiful. Really? You. You're welcome. Now get dressed quickly. Don't dawdle. Alright. See I'll you. Alright, yeah. To the office. Yes, I am. Uh, You're back already? I went to the office briefly for a meeting with some investors that I have scheduled before your invite to be here this weekend came up. I see. So, how are you doing? Beautiful, beautiful. We, we thank God it went well. By the way, Mother, I haven't, um, I haven't seen your grandchild, Hillary. Well, it's just been and, to know each other. and she's just gone to change into more suitable clothes I got for her. <laughs> Hilary, <laughs> suitable. <laughs> ah, mom, look, I wish you the best in that one. Did I tell you what happened to the ones I bought her? No, but I don't think you should always indulge. No, 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 not, not in that way, mom. Look. Hilary is a sweetheart, all right? She is a good girl, and I believe you must have noticed yourself. Yes, I have. But I don't think you should 
But I still think that um, we need to get her suited with me. And I've been thinking of me like Victoria, Valerie. What do you think so? James. Um, please, do you know where my dad is? Because I couldn't find him in his room. Oh, Mr. Jensen is in the living room with madam. Oh, shoot. Let me ask anything a problem, Miss Hilary? It's nothing, really. I just wanted to show my dad my new clothes, so he'll tell me if it's okay. So, before I show myself to my grandmother, so Oh, that. <laughs> well, even though I am not Mr. Jensen, but I think you look absolutely gorgeous in that attire. Really? If I'm asked to suggest, I will suggest you wear to any occasion you so desire. All it right. It looks beautiful on you. All right, I got the message, Mr. James. Let me go and meet my dad and grandma. Okay, Miss Hilary. All right, I'll see you later. Thank you. Frankly speaking, Mother, I I do not think that a name change for for Hillary is necessary. Honestly, neither do I see any good that would do for her psychologically. I, I don't know if you know what I mean, Mom. Oh, here comes my beautiful granddaughter, Valerie looking graceful in her dress or not so graceful um excuse me grandma who are you talking to who else you of course but you just said valerie oh yes now do come on come and sit down here and i'll tell you all about it So you see, my dear, I have been brainstorming and thinking of a suitable female name for you. Since Hillary is not suitable and it's boyish, and I came up with the name Valerie. And your dad agrees to it that it is perfect for you. So I hope you will like it. Well, first, the name Valerie is derived from the word valiant, which means courage and determination. So, I hope that you will like it, Valerie. Talk about being knocked over by surprise. Now what? I want you to know that Grandma wants you to, to change your name. That's not me. She, she doesn't like you. Not that she will like you. Alright? Rather, I think it's just how you show.
minutes. Imagine. Where the are She was Hillary, but mm -hmm. I chose a more feminine name for her. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I think Valerie is more appropriate. Oh, well then. Um, hi, Valerie. My name is Auntie Kate. Hi, Auntie Kate. Nice so to meet pleasure you. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you. And your daddy here told me a whole lot about you. Yeah. Good to meet you. Okay. All right. Girls, Nicolette, say hello to your new cousin. Hi, Valerie. Hi. Hi. Anyway, Valerie, um, this is Vivian, Naomi, and Nicholas. So, guys, why don't you just go somewhere, get acquainted with one another? I'm sure you have a lot to talk about. Yes. Yes. We won't have to talk about females. We are girls, we will not be talking about football, wrestling, or even boxing. But it's okay, you can fine. Okay, Mr. Man, why don't you just go and protect Sheldon from getting hurt? Trey, Mr. Magic, Captain. Cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, you do that. Oh. So. That's it, Naomi. There's really nothing much to tell. I've had a pretty uneventful life before my mom took me to my dad. Wow. I don't believe that. Wow. It's time. If you please, please. I'm okay. All right. See you later. So, you are the illegitimate daughter of my uncle Jason. Vivian, how can you say that to me? <laughs> but that's the truth, Naomi. What do you call a child that was born outside wedding, if not illegitimate? Well, then we don't have to rub it in. Besides, it's not Valerie's fault that her parents aren't married. It's okay now. There's no need to argue with your sister because of me. Okay, um, Grandma just got me this nice iPad. Are you serious? I really don't know how to operate it. I don't know if you can teach me. Sure, why not? Oh my 
God, you cannot even operate a mini pod. Tell me, who doesn't know how to operate an ordinary device like a mini pod? My friends are going to love their life all when I finally update my strength with this piece of information. Good heavens, Vivian. Must you always be mean to everybody? Must you? I don't like this. Please don't listen to her, okay? Okay, why not just let's go inside so we can get back to this Like seriously, Naomi, I can't believe that you would have ended your own sister to fight with this outside. Anyway, go on and see if I can hear. I'm off. Yeah. I must say I'm very happy for you. You know, I I know how much you are that you read. And after you lost Eunice giving birth, almost lost hope. But here you are, you have a big girl like this. Oh, isn't it? Ah, we we thank God for everything. Um what can I say? Hilary is what I call an expected blessing. You don't know what joy it is to have that girl. Oh, yes, she is. I mean, but how could you have ever given up hope of having children when you're about to get married to Vanessa? Or are you planning on not having kids? Um, well, listen, Mother, when was the last time you spoke with Vanessa? Uh, she didn't call? to tell you that she called up the engagement herself. <laughs> ah, I need to bring you to up to speak. Seriously, uh, I mean, what happened? Vanessa was with me the day Suzanne was here. Now, having seen what happened, she couldn't deal with it. She ran into her room, packed her bags, and was going to run out of the house. I called her and said, where are you going? She said, but um, it was hard enough. And I'm a widower. And now I have a 14 year old daughter coming to live with us. That is, if we we'll end up getting married. And she really cannot do with children. And yeah, it's best for her, yeah. You mean Vanessa said that? I, I don't understand. Well, there isn't so much to understand. But I mean, uh, Vanessa and I, from the beginning, we, we've been like. Um, Square pegs and round holes, you know. We have really never agreed on one thing together. So I think really it's, it's best for the both of us. So you remember Mom, I've always told you that. The only reason I've always considered having Harry in my life is because of the beautiful rapport. The good family is enjoy in terms of business. <laughs> but hey, good reason to read that. You know, um, yeah, it's quite rubbish. You know, I never really liked that girl, Vanessa. Yes, uh, for one reason, I just don't know. I mean, why would a girl trash a relationship? Because of a flimsy excuse like that. That means she never really loved you. Oh, goodness me. She doesn't even know she's losing in her. I mean, a catch. <laughs> she doesn't. I think she's a loser, man. I don't think she looked at me one more time before she stepped out of her. Oh, did she? <laughs> Tell me if I really breathe uh -huh. looking man. Like you know, I, 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 I thought, you know, God had blessed this girl. Some common sense. Ah, what a disappointment. You know what they say, mother? Common sense isn't that common now, is it? <laughs> I think she's a loser, man. She's a loser. Uh-huh. Because my brother is cute. Uh-huh. Say that one more time. Oh, my brother is cute. <laughs> say that one more time. But you know the good thing, sis, is that I think I got my face from, from, from my mom. Yeah. Look at her face. I remember that time this was my mom was a son. Wow, I love this. Yeah, you know, despite what Vivian thinks, I'm not ashamed to ask for help. I don't see anything wrong in it. Really? But you don't have to let Vivian through this game, do you? I don't know why she's always me. 
Can you believe it? That she and her friends in school think it's fashionable. Fashionable? Yeah. I've never heard such nonsense before. How can being me be fashionable? I don't know, but they seem to get some kick out of it. Then they are totally clueless. You sure. can say that again. <laughs> sure they are. Yeah. So, I love this. Definitely. See, um, I'm just glad you're nothing like her because oh, it's such a relief. At least I can talk to someone, eh? Yeah. My dad told me about um, your mom. I'm so sorry she died. Please accept my condolence. And um, it's okay. Um, you see, Nicholas and I never leave with my mom. You know, we were still babies when she died. So, it's just our stepmom, that's your auntie Kate. She has been the mother figure we have. Yeah. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah. Although I think it looks so awesome, I, I'm sure she's going to. She has really been taking care of yeah, you sure guys. She is. Okay, let's just go back to the iPad. Oh, God, I can't wait for you to. Do All that. you have to know is just the basics. And okay. believe me, you're good to go. Right. Are you ready? Sure. What are you saying? Okay, let's go. Why are you giving it to me? Open it to your phone. Oh, no. <laughs>